Hello, this is my demo video for Clipbot. Now, Clipbot was designed to be a agent-assisted automation component. It will not work well in a fully automated um, robot. That's not what it's designed for, but it is a good component that can be used wherever necessary or wherever helpful in an agent-assisted situation. So, there's two ways that it can be used um, in this agent-assisted capacity. The first is what I'm calling a dynamic clipboard right here. It's essentially as a clipboard manager. Um, I'll show you kind of some of the features of that right here. So if I push play, it doesn't look like anything's going on, but I can actually um, go in here, the robot's running. If I press control C, it's going to ask me up in the top left corner here if I want to set a shortcut key for the copied item. Since I didn't press OK within five seconds, that goes away, but that's all right. If I go ahead and press control C again, it's going to bring that up again. If I press OK, it then asks me which shortcut key I'd like to use for the uh, most recently copied item. So I'm going to press 1 for that test. I'll go ahead and copy some more text. I'll press 2 for this text. I'll go ahead and copy this image. I'll press 3 for this image. And just because, I'll go ahead and copy this file out here as well and put that to 4. Now I set a modifier text for um, when I want to paste these items within the program. My modifier text that I've selected for this version of the program is Alt-Control. So now I'm going to hold down Alt-Control and press 4, which is what I assigned this new Microsoft Word document to out here. And it's going to paste that out there. I can do that as many times as I want, because again, it's just like pasting a file. And then if I go back in here, I can just um, paste 3, paste that image in there. I can also paste 1 and paste 2 to paste that text in there. Now this does bring up something important that I wanted to mention. You do have to be careful when assigning the modifier text or the shortcut keys themselves because um, in this situation you can see that pressing Alt, Control, and 1 and 2 at the same time is actually changing the heading, which means that probably if I were to actually be using this for real in um, Word, and that was what the agent assisted automation was for, I wouldn't want to use Alt, Control as my modifier keys, I'd want to come up with some other modifier keys to use instead. In addition to copying and pasting, I can also do Alt-Control-Enter to see what's currently in the clipboard. Up here at the top, it'll show me what's currently in the clipboard. And Alt-Control-Escape will close out the um, dynamic clipboard. Now that's one way of using it. The second way that um, users can use the clipbot, and possibly the more powerful way, is actually in a preloaded sense. Now again, the clipbot is just taking information. In that last robot, it was taking it at each copy and pasting it to a data table. It then draws from that data table whenever you ask it to paste something. In this situation, you'll simply be telling it um, up front what you want to draw that information from. So in this example, I use a folder where I've assigned some files um, some image files. Uh, the robot's going to ask me for the folder. I'm going to give it the folder. It's going to pull all of the files from that folder as images into the data table, and it uses the names of the files as the shortcut keys that I will then be able to use for those files. So if I press play, I go to um, where I have these images, press OK. It has now loaded the images to my clipboard essentially, and I can now paste these using control 1, control 2, control 3, control 4, control 5, very easily paste out those images wherever I need them. Um, situations in which this could come out come in handy, if you just think of a situation, perhaps there's a marketing process um, where someone is needing to create like a marketing um, email in Word or something like that, and they have perhaps a set um, a set number of images that they want to be using in their marketing materials. They don't exactly know right off the bat where they're going to need those within the file. They don't have a specifically set format, but they do have the images they want to use. They could go out there, choose that file that they want to draw the images from. Um, maybe they keep that file up to date with the most recent marketing images that are corporately approved and then they know that they are using the correct images as they're creating this marketing document for their new customers. <laughs>